In this episode, we take a plane to Africa to climb the mighty Kilimanjaro. We spend six days hiking on the mountain. We camp in some amazing locations. As we gain altitude, the going gets tough. The temperatures drop as we head up to the summit. But the views make up for it. We have an amazing adventure. Good morning, we're here at Springlands, we've finally made it. 24 hours of travelling, three flights, it was a bit of an epic. However, the flights actually turned out to be pretty all right. There was no issues there. So it flew through Doha into Nairobi and then a short hop to Kilimanjaro. So Kilimanjaro through the clouds, that was epic. So we're in the hotel, we've chilled, we've packed, and I think we're gonna be setting up about 30 minutes up to Machami Gate for the first stage of this this trip interesting we talked about three people last night all of them had failed to get to the summit so that was a little bit ominous but anyway it is what it is so hopefully we should be fine we're super excited super excited should i say cloudy this morning probably cloudy for a few days but i do know from the previous time once you get a little bit high you tend to go through the clouds so so there we go so we're gonna get our stuff together check in the bag and set off and i will see you later there we go So, Amara thinks it's quite amusing that the guide thought I would, that Mara was my daughter this morning. That was kind of <laughs> funny. Our Kilimanjaro adventure is six days long and follows the Machami route. From the gate, we will spend four days gradually gaining altitude until we reach our base camp at Barafu. From here we will climb up through the night, aiming to reach the summit plateau as the sun breaks. We will then quickly lose altitude by descending all the way down to the final camp at Moeka. The following day we will hike out and get picked up at the gate. So we're at Machami Gate, about an hour's drive up here. Not as busy as what it was last time but I suppose it is October. Just sorting everything out, getting our lunch and then we're going to set off up to the first camp. I think we're about, about 1500 meters of sea level first camp so i think it's at 27 so it should be quite a nice hike up there i do seem to remember it was through like a foresty kind of place kind of easy terrain so we'll get going and see what happens just looking forward to getting going now super excited weather's pretty good it's really busy with porters lots going on lots going on so let's get going Good job, good job. You choose to do the same. Pole, Him, him. Nine, stop. One, team. Akuna. Matata. Akuna.
were at our first camp, uh, Machami Camp, Mara, that's mm-hmm. Machami Camp, it's what's about 11k, 11k hike up from Machami Gate, I think it was about a thousand meters, so it was a decent climb, it was it steamed up, it was quite gentle at the beginning, but steepened up, got up to the camp, probably only about 30 minutes before it mm-hmm. went dark, but as you can see now we've got some, some lovely food here, some coffee, popcorn and some bourbon, so we'll get stuck in, into them, looking forward to tea, and uh, that's it, yeah. That's it. Morning, good morning. So, day two, what a day weather wise. Absolutely stunning blue skies. Short day two, I think it's about um, about five or six, seven K. Going up to Shira Camp, it's about 700 meters. We're going to set off at all. We'll get there just after lunch, so we'll have plenty of time to chill out. He also turned around and said that if the weather's good, which it is, there'll be great views. Kind of quite interesting. Everybody had a really restless night's sleep last night, but Mara and I slept really well. That's a super positive. I'm just looking forward to getting going. Kilimanjaro, we have three peaks. Okay. The first one is Shira Cathedral. Okay. Uh, the second one is going to be in the other side, all the way to the summit. It's called Mawenzi. Okay. Or oh, when you are going to Marangurut, it's in our right side. Okay. Mawenzi Peak. Then the one we are going, uh, the real one we are going through for the summit is the Kibo. Okay. Kibo, Kibo. Peak. Jury. Day three, yesterday was a good day yesterday, about 6K, about 800 meters up to Shira Camp, that's about 3,900. It was, it was pretty cloudy when we got to the top, but the cloud cleared. We had a sort of hike up to Shira Cave, great viewpoint of uh, Kilimanjaro, and saw one of the base camps for one of the other routes. Got back to the tent and oh my God, what a fantastic sunset. Absolutely unbelievable beautiful beautiful sunset really cold last night it was like frosty outside when we got up but we were both really warm so that's a super bonus anyway today up to lava tower 4600 meters then down to Baraco camp so it's a bit of a, an up and a down we're going to get pretty high higher than tube cal anyway so we'll see how we go today but we're both feeling pretty good so that's a positive really warm now, even now the frost is melting we're just sort of like in a in our top so hopefully we should have a good day's hiking
first heading down from Lava Tower, which is about 4,600 meters. We're in the cloud, absolutely freezing, really, really cold. We've got every layer on. I have to bring the thicker stuff out tomorrow. It's really cold, it must be about zero. But the good news is it's all downhill now. And hopefully we may drop out of this, but we make good progress. And the main thing is both Maury and I feel really good today. Up to 4,600, no, no headaches, nothing, feel, feel really strong. So really chuffed about that. And head down to Baraco camp, that's about similar uh, elevation to what we set off. So hopefully we shall feel pretty good when we get up there. Then tomorrow we'll be back up to similar height of lava time. That'll be our base camp ready for the summer ascent. Branco camp, 3,900 meters above sea level. Amazing day. A bit cold and cloudy up at Lava Tel, but nonetheless, absolutely amazing. We both feel good. Looking forward to now chilling out for the evening. Cold start, day three. <laughs> day three of Lost Cow of the Days. Absolutely brass monkeys, but we're on our way. Heading up to the infamous Branco Wall. <sighs> Maura's hands are cold today. My hands are cold today. We're all cold today. We're gonna head on. It's absolutely glorious. We're above the clouds. Uh, and we're gonna get going. It is very beautiful. This is what we call kissing rock. Oh, this is the kissing. Should I kiss the rock? Kiss the rock, kiss the rock, <laughs> yeah. Go, 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 You got the rock, Darren, as well? Yeah, <laughs> Whoa, nice. Whoa, kissing rock. Just heading down from Branco Wall, climb the amazing viewpoint of Kelly from the top. We've got three kilometers to get to Karanga Camp. We're gonna have lunch there, and we'll push another four kilometers to base camp. To base camp, which is called is it in Barafu? So, so we'll chill out there, have a snooze, and then we'll get up late evening. Get up, I don't know, probably about 11 o'clock or something for a midnight uh, summit attempt. Very exciting, very exciting.
And well, we're here at Barafu camp. This is it, base camp. It's about 6 p.m. We've managed to set, we've got all our kit ready. It's absolutely brass monkeys, and I mean brass monkeys. We must be wearing about 10 layers each tonight. Murray's got three layers on the bottom half. Really cold, it's gonna be absolutely freezing up there. However, the cloud is beginning to lift now like it tends to at this time of night. So at least hopefully we should get some decent views. I'm gonna to go to sleep. I think we're gonna get woken up at about half 11, set off at 12 to get up there for sunrise. It's gonna be another long slog. It's about 5K, 1200 meters. So similar to climbing up Ben Nevis, I guess. So we're just gonna get some sleep and then we'll, uh, we'll set off. So we start on how to wear. Yes. You know, but let me. Yes. Do know? the chart. Yeah. Do the chart anyway. Yeah. Like down here. Yeah. You just have like this tight one. Like uh, if you can get three of them. Yeah. Three layers. Okay. Three I have three yeah. of them. Yeah. Yeah. Any warm one. Yeah. And yeah. The windy one. Yeah. At least four. Okay. Yeah. At least four. four at least four. Layer. On the bottom. Yeah. And four on the bottom. But, yeah, that's yeah. good. That's what okay. I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Four layers. Okay. Okay. On top here? Yeah. yeah. Not less than four layers. Not oh, we'll, less than four. We'll go because, for ten. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> four, four to five. Four and, to five layers. Yeah. Okay. Right, okay. When, when you get cold, when you get hot, we you take one out. We will take off or we just lose some zip. Okay. Yes. And then also, time to wake up. I'm going to wake up around the. Uh, yes. 11. 11.30. No, 11. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. Oh, yeah. I got it right, yeah. yeah. Then, to go uh, for... 11.30, you get here for the tea and okay. popcorn and some biscuit to body warming. Yep. Yeah. Uh, after that, around the 12, we start going poly, 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 poly. Yes, okay. to the top. Super. Yes. yes. Yeah. And get those no layers on. No, 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 no you're good. I'll pull out a couple more layers for the bottom. Okay. So and extra socks for my bottle. Yeah. If you get a, a little bit tired, so you need to move slowly. Okay. okay. So when you take slowly, it means that the time also will consume a lot of time. Okay. So this is it. We're on our way. 1,200 meters to the top. Blooming cold up here. It's pretty spectacular at the moon. So we're making good progress. Just over a thousand to go. Just hit a bit of traffic here. That's all that's no problem. Poly poly. The moon's out. The crazy wind from before has died down, what's good, but it's still absolutely freezing. But we all feel good. We're in high spirits. Absolutely floored. You want to come onto the sign, guys? Oh. Oh. So, how are you feeling, guys? Oh my goodness, that is the hardest thing I've ever done. Really? Thank you so much. It's brutal. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We still have another kilometre to, to go. But the next bit's not too bad. We're so oh. happy. We got to see an amazing sunrise as that well. It's amazing. Yeah. So just like 44 minutes or one hour okay. to the top. Okay. So Hakuna Matata, take your time. Take our time. We, we thank God. The weather has been uh, good to us. Yeah. yeah. So we got an amazing trip. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. All the way to the top. Oh. All the way to the top.
Good, yeah. Hello from Moeki Camp. The morning after the day before. Wow, what a 24 hours that was. Whew, midnight climb up to the summit. So that's six hours. It was really tough going. Really tough going to the top. I'll tell you something, altitude is a leveler. There was some fit people struggling heading up, and I won't deny the fact that was really hard. One of the toughest things I've done. But we, we got up we sell to Stella Point just just so the sun was coming up and perfect timing and then got round so round to the summit so really really happy with that um, <clears throat> amazing amazing views the glaciers were unbelievable and then just back down to base camp for a, a little bit of time to chill out but you know base camp was still 4,700 meters and I was feeling rough so we then just hiked down to this camp in the afternoon dropped down to 3,100 lovely kind of hike down through forest a really easy trail to to hike on and a really good night's sleep as well I slept through about 10 11 hours so we're up and we've just got a small hike out to the gate this this morning which we're all looking forward to you know, it's been an absolute amazing trip amazing trip and you know a couple of shout outs here I mean first of all to our guide uh, is it in? It's been absolutely unbelievable. Super patient. <laughs> There's no mean feet. Uh, spending a week with Mara and I, but he's such an amazing guy. Really chilled out, and he got us up to the summit. Fair play, and also the porters. Oh, I mean, geez, the, the weight those these guys are carrying on their necks and their heads. It's it's remarkable how they managed to do that. So that's Kilimanjaro done. Um, Zyra. Uh, <coughs> Zara Tours, we went with, that's twice I've been with these guys now and done Kilimanjaro, super, super outfit so highly recommend if you fancy doing this trip we're now off to Zanzibar for a week on the beach so we're looking forward to that and I will check in with you guys in the next video Okay, got to stand up, this is all I haven't been presented with a certificate in a long time oh goodness me, oh fabulous oh. <laughs> Papa, well done, Papa, well done <laughs>
<laughs> Just an absolute take it. I'm as positive as you take it. Right, shut up now, right. <clears throat> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs>